I'm not afraid of losing deals. I'm not afraid of losing sales. I'm afraid of getting to the end of my life and realizing that there were a million people that I could have helped, but I was so weak and so selfish that I didn't stand up to their bad habits. I'm not going to be happy until the number of people we've helped break free is more than the number of people that we have not been able to get across the line. You're listening to The Traffic and Funnel Show. How important is motive if we're being real? How important is motive in our behavior? Extremely. It is everything. You can feel it. Do your prospects know that you love them? Do they know that you care about them? You don't have to make it weird, but do you actually care about the people you talk to? Yeah, absolutely. Like, does it hit you? When people are like, yeah, I've invested into this and it didn't work. And does, are you like, man, Yeah. Mm -hmm. you feel it. Yeah. So you can be as aggressive as you want. We have to make sure that we're not doing anything just to get paid. True? True. Mm -hmm. It all comes down to empathy, how we treat people. Do we really respect people? Because you can stand against somebody's behavior, but still be a fan of their humanity. Yeah. You can say, hey, dude, you're acting, can I be honest with you? You're acting like a little bitch right now. And I'm only saying that because I care about you. What did I just do? You like spanked me, but in a way that like you actually care. And I told you, I didn't leave it to your own devices because yeah. if I just say you're being a little like, you're going to be like, oh, well, dude, this guy's just being, a he's trying to get a sale. You know, you were honest. You have to you. tell people that you care about them if you want them to think that you care about them. You have to get permission to give people feedback. When you say that, you mean like, can I give you some honest coaching right now? Yeah. Can I give you some honest, can I give you some honest feedback because I see you and I want you to win. What's the difference between can I give you some honest feedback and that's option A and option B is can I give you some feedback because I really care about you? What's the difference? Empathy. Is that they know you're giving them feedback because you actually care about Because you, So you answered the why. So you're not just going to get permission, but you're going to tell them why you need permission and mm -hmm. why you're about to tell them what you're about to tell them. How much you want to make next year? 180. There's one way you're going to do it. How? Oh. One way. How? Have empathy. It's kind of a simple way to put it but not necessarily. Actually care about people? You need to help so many people get everything that they signed up for, everything that they've been working for. You need to help enough people feel like they're free for the first time in their whole life. You need to help enough people actually feel like they woke up excited for the first time in 10 years. You need to help enough people get connected to what it feels like to win. And in doing that, you'll make everything you ever wanna make. It has nothing to do at this point. You know all the technique, bro. You have every technique I have ever invented. And as soon as I invent more, I usually give them to you first. You're literally welcome. Why you burn out, though, is because sometimes you are like, I have to catch up on my numbers. No, you don't, dude. You don't have to catch up on your numbers. You are never going back to the place where you used to be. You are never going back. It's not about the numbers anymore. It's about remembering that people really matter. And if you don't step up and show up early, if you don't adhere to your own routines that make you strong, this lady, like she would struggle around in the mud for four years. Yeah. You know, what's 100%. it all about? It's all about people, man. Yeah, 100%, dude. But as a team, we have to build this into our culture. We have to, man. 100%. Because right now we're behind. And it's interesting that us being behind, we're ahead, we're ahead of 99.5% of the entire market. But for us, man, like we should be helping way more people. Still not enough. It's not enough because not because we need more money, you know, although that'd be nice. Not because we need more cars, although that'd be nice. But because people are hiring other inferior people. They're, they, I asked her, who did you hire? And she said, we just decided to do nothing. That's not her fault. Yeah. That's because we had, we, we had an opportunity to help somebody and we just we didn't protect our state. Questions? Did not so good. Yeah, this is awesome. You push your team on it. There are so many people in the market now that literally we could we could screw up deal after deal after deal after deal and probably still make a lot of money. There's so much need. There's so much opportunity. Yeah. It's not about us. It's totally about the person. You know. Is there a time and place to do that with someone as far as telling, pushing them so far? Maybe it wasn't right with her, but pushing them so far that's like, yeah, we we're just probably never going to work with you. We're going to mark you off and everything or is that just never acceptable i used to close the door on people and i don't as much anymore but if somebody has exhibited a pattern their whole life and you've picked up on it and you get their permission to give them feedback and you say hey look this is this is a pattern of fear for you 
And so I'm going to do what I feel like Taylor would do. And I'm not going to enable your fear. And that doesn't mean you need to give me $100,000 right now and I'm never going to give it back. <laughs> that means if this is something you really want, I want you to have the opportunity to talk to your husband. I want you guys to be in alignment on the same page. I want everything you told me you want, I want you to have and I believe in you to have and I care about you so much that I'm going to, right now, I'm going to take a stand against the pattern of fear that you have in your life. And I'm going to actually call you to rise up out of your, out of your patterns. And you can put $1,000 down and it's refundable. And if you wake up in the middle of the night screaming because you're so terrified that you made the wrong decision, look, that let's refund the money. It's not about that to us. You've seen our revenue numbers. $1,000 is not going to make the bank. It's not going to make or break us. It's not about me. It's about you. And if you're willing to do that, I would love to give you guys some space and let you think about it and talk about it and chat with, uh, chat with me again if you want me to get on with your husband. But what I will not do is I've noticed that you make a lot of these decisions out of fear. And I will not just be another one of the you know people in your life who says they care about you but does absolutely nothing to help you change. What's the frame? There's a pattern. M-O-R-A-L-A-U-T-H-O. Authority. Moral authority. It's been my secret for three years because it's not about me. I'm taking the high ground of like, look, I care about you way more apparently than you care about yourself. And there's a time for that to change. And I think that time is now. Do you trust me? Well, no, I don't, I don't really trust you. Okay, well then I would not invest. I would say no. If you think that there's a, a seven out of 10 chance that we're gonna take your money and run, say no, do the right thing, say no. I'm not afraid of losing deals. I'm not afraid of losing sales. I'm afraid of getting to the end of my life and realizing that there were a million people that I could have helped, but I was so weak and so selfish that I didn't stand up to their bad habits. Do you feel my moral authority right now? Yeah. Nobody's arguing oh, yeah. with me at this point. Like, I have nothing I have nothing to lose in this and nothing to gain. It's not going to change my pocketbook. It's it's going to change yours. And if you if you don't fix this pattern, you know, in in 20 years I'll be an old man and you'll be a really old man and I won't be in the same place and you will. And I'm very very passionate about making sure that doesn't happen. I'm not going to be happy until the number of people we've helped break free is more than the number of people that we have not been able to get across the line. And I think as a team, yeah, we're one of the greatest, but we have a lot of work to do. Yeah. Who cares about that? Who cares about being the greatest if there's still like, uh, you know, 500 people that are on our list that we just, you know, for whatever reason, like somebody forgot about them. There are people in the pipeline that wanted to come in, should have come in, and then somebody forgot about them. Yeah. And now they're off you know, around in other things. So we have to tilt that to where it's like, there are more people that we are pulling out, out of the streets. We gotta, we gotta fix the numbers. Cool? Yeah, cool, dude. Oh yeah. Start the world. Thanks for listening. For more from Chris and Taylor, visit trafficandfunnels.com and get a free gift just for being a subscriber. That's trafficandfunnels.com.